In 1992, the prince opened his own institute of architecture, putting his and other people's money where his mouth had long been. Pull it back into... Yeah. Here, students learn the traditional skills, craftsmanship as well as design, the importance of harmony and precision, the vitality of the vernacular. You don't need massive depth to get shadow. If you look at the model here... The institute is based on what the prince refers to as timeless principles, the spiritual harmony of classical form, the importance of pure observation. The prince's onslaught on the carbuncles of modern architecture has brought him into bitter conflict with the new establishment, which denounces him as nostalgic and ignorant. Some modernists claim that he's misused his role to threaten their livelihoods. I know that, uh, you know, the great sort of charge that gets leveled against me, you know, is that I was, I've spoiled so many people's, you know, uh, careers and jobs. I mean, it's not true. I never mentioned any of them at all. I just wanted to make the point that I, I felt, anyway, that, uh, that uh, you know, it, it, we needed to re-examine these issues. And I didn't particularly want to see this country, which I mind about and love greatly, and nor do a lot of other people, disappear under a welter of ugliness. And can, I just want to say one more thing to, to emphasize you know, my, the real basis on which I've tried to express these um, feelings about architecture, and that is that while I am thoroughly in favour of an avant-garde, generally, what I do not think is sensible in the long run and right is when the avant-garde becomes the establishment. And that is what has happened, I believe, not only in architectural terms, but in, uh, in many other areas as well.